Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church and welcome back to my outdoor kitchen. Today I'm going to be making you guys these badass Japanese barbecue wings. You guys know I love a chicken wing. Make lots of chicken wings. There's lots of videos on this channel and recipes on meatchurch.com. But with wings, there's lots of ways to skin a cat, right? There's a lot of ways to make them. Whenever I come across a new recipe that I personally love, I can promise you I'm gonna make a video and share that with you guys. And today is a really easy technique and it's only two ingredients and it's super delicious. It may be the most delicious we've ever made. I just made these wings this past weekend for Wade Bowen at his music fest for him and a bunch of artists this past weekend in Waco and it, they got rave reviews. Um, I love the pro flavor profile, they loved them. On top of that, I just went down to Lockhart to my buddy's mill scale and picked up a brand new Yakitori grill and you guys in the comments were like, show us that thing in action. So I thought, all right, made these new wings, used my mill scale offset and my Yakitori grill to make them. It couldn't be any easier, so let's just make a video on it. Um, so here we go. So what I've got at first here, this is four packages of wings that I got at my local HEB, it was about 30 bucks, and I bought the wings whole. That's the cheapest way to buy wings, so I had to part them out um, using a super sharp knife, uh, my shun knife here. I separated the drum from the flapper, and then I even kept the little scratchers, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. And I also bought these bags at HEB. This is just like a, I think like a three gallon marinade bag. And all I've done to these wings is I dumped in a bottle of Bachan's Japanese barbecue sauce. Now, I'm not affiliated with Justin and these guys, and they're not paying me to say this, but this is one of my most favorite barbecue products, and they caught the world on fire last year. I think you'll love it. If you, um, you know, if you don't have this, you can make your own Japanese barbecue sauce or marinade. Just, you know, Google like a yakiniku sauce. So, you know, this is like, you could do soy, mirin, ginger onion and you can make up your own marinade if you don't want to go buy that but this stuff is amazing and i'm all about some store-bought ingredients to make things easy when it makes sense so here we go um, i've separated all these like i said and i'm just going to lay these in the pan so we've got drums and we've got flappers and as i mentioned i even saved the scratchers i got a buddy who says the scratchers are the best part of the wing you know, I don't know if that's right. That's like saying a crust is the, the best part of a pizza, but we're gonna cook them. We'll taste test it at the end and we'll see. All right, you gotta marinate these for at least four hours. Why I love marinating chicken, the flavor profile of this protein, it's gonna take on that marinade. And so how long do you need to marinate it? At least four hours, no more than overnight. Clearly the longer you marinate it, the stronger the flavor is gonna be. So it's a preference thing. Um, I did these last weekend on a five hour marinade. Today, we're on an overnight eight hour marinade. And I like an intense flavor, so that's okay. So you guys just kind of go with what you like, how much time you have. There's no right or wrong way, it's a preference thing. Okay, we got all the wings in the pan here. I'm just gonna kind of lay them flat. I'm doing this in a pan just to keep it from being messy. Now let's talk about seasoning. I want to put a little barbecue seasoning on them. My absolute favorite wing rub in the world is our Holy Voodoo, uh, but the Holy Gospel is very good as well. I haven't used that glove yet, but I'm going to take it off anyway. The glove police are real on YouTube. All right, Holy Gospel, great all-purpose. I'm just going to put a nice little coating on here. I'm going to toss them around and just put some more on here. I'm not getting too perfect with it. Just a good application. Toss them around, apply some more seasoning. You know, I'm gonna go right to the smoker with these, but if you're at home making these, you know, let this seasoning sit for 30 minutes. Let it sit longer if you want. But like I always say, make the flavor profile your own. The reason I'm doing this today is this is what I did last weekend and they were a grand slam, so we're going with it. But tweak as you like. All right, those are good to go. Let's talk about the cook process. Extremely simple. We're going to smoke these and then we're gonna grill them at the end to kind of crisp them up. So I'm gonna smoke them at 250 on my mill scale offset with post oak. You could do the smoking on any type of smoker that you have. 
uh, pellet grill, whatever you like. Now, chicken's done at 165 internal, but when I'm doing chicken wings, I go higher than 165. I like to smoke them to like 180 something generally. You're not gonna dry them out. From there, we will bring them over and we'll just fry them or we'll grill them for a couple minutes on the yakitori. So let's head over to the mill scale and let's get these to smoking. All right. So let's just get these laid across the grate. It's gonna be nice and simple. Just let them roll here in this post oak smoke. So this is, uh, reminds me a lot of like a reverse sear steak. You know, how much, what, what temperature do you take the first step to and then what do you do at the end? I mentioned I like to take them in the 180s, but you know, don't go away from this video thinking, Matt said it has to be 180. You could pull these things lower if you want. You could pull them as low as, you know, 165, they're done. Um, and then, you know, you've got, it's gonna determine how long you're gonna grill them after. So it's, you know, it's just a game of, I want them smoky, I want a lot of smoke flavor but I also wanna grill them at the end to kind of crisp them up. But with a heavy marinade, I don't wanna burn them. So it's, you know, a lot of cooking is a preference thing. You do what you want, whatever you like. Don't let anybody tell you there's a right or wrong way. You do what you and your family like. And we always learn, we're always learning, we're always tweaking, we're always changing. Uh, when we stop learning, it's not fun anymore. So, you know, I love to hear in the comments how you guys do things, inspire us to cook different things. And if we like it, maybe we'll make a video on it. All right, I've just spread these out all over, nice and simple. We're gonna let these roll. I'm not gonna spritz them. I'm not gonna do a thing except check the temperature on them. See you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, these wings have been smoking right at two hours. We just lit the Yakitori grill a few minutes ago to get those coals burning really good to time it with these wings coming off. So let's check them out. Whew, good Lord. I mean, that color is insanity already from that marinade. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. So these are all fully cooked and we've been temping them. You know, they're some in the 170s, maybe like low 180 for some of the smaller ones. So let's get them pulled off and head over to grill them off. All right, guys, these wings, like I said, are obviously cooked. They look gorgeous, smell gorgeous. They're ready to roll, but we're gonna grill them to crisp them up here on the new mill scale Yakitori grill. You guys wanted a video on this, so I'm gonna tell you some of the features. This thing is small, but mighty. You've got adjustable air vents here. Uh, you've got tools mounted on the handles on both sides. So an ash tool on this side for easy clean out. Uh, we've got a tool over here to change the grate heights, which I'll do in just a second. This is lined with uh, refractory um, panels inside, so it really holds heat really well. It's a super efficient use of charcoal, uh, barely takes any, and believe it or not, you can actually pull a ton of food off of such a small grill. Um, so I've got it set up. This is my hot zone. It's really hot there right now, obviously cooler up here. So as things are done, I will move them um, up to the top. But uh, for the video's sake, I'm gonna move this one out of the way so you guys can see. A little better and we're getting to cooking so here we go okay now how long do you need to grill them it's up to you these are cooked you know I'd go minute two aside you know just kind of whatever whatever you want to do this is personal preference at this point and the great thing about this marinade sat on here at night, so it's not like super sticky, you know, after these wings smoked uh, in the 94 gallon offset. But look at that, four packages of wings fit on here, no problem. And I gotta figure out where to put all my little scratchers for my friends who claim they're the best. I don't know about that, but let's get them on here. Okay, whoo, smell that. Wish y'all could. Takes me back to my childhood right there. So we're just gonna watch these. You'll probably go minute and a half, two minutes, like I said, flip them constantly. When they look however you want them, then we're gonna pull them off and go eat them. All 
All right, guys, we flipped these. We cooked them for probably just over three minutes. The fire was a little hotter than I thought, so I raised the grates one level. I'm gonna pull these off. We're gonna let them cool, and then we're gonna go see how we did. Ben Fallis, you're wrong. You have led me astray. I'm all about 100% utilization of an animal, but I ain't trying to eat the wing tips or the chicken feet, so I'm gonna leave that to you. I'm gonna get to the good stuff. I've told you all a hundred times in this video that these look amazing, they smell amazing. I mean, the simple recap on this, we marinated them overnight uh, in the Spot John's Japanese barbecue sauce, and we simply seasoned them um, you know, with our seasoning and, you know, smoked them for two hours at 250 and we, you know, put them on the yakitori grill until they were nice and crisp up. Some of them have more char than others uh, and they look awesome. But I always say eat with your eyes first. So we're going to dress them up a little bit, put a little of that roasted sesame seeds on here. That'd be a beautiful platter to just slide out for your family and friends to eat, and you're gonna be the hero. Well, I say that, I hadn't even tried them yet, so let's see how we did. What are you? Are you a drum, a flapper, or a scratcher guy? I'm a flapper guy. So always just gotta loosen them up a little bit, make it just like super nice and simple. Yachty. Those are good. Mmm. So good. They pair best with a Kirin Ichiban or a Sapporo or a Ranch Rider Ranch Water. Jalapeno Ranch Water. Damn. <clears throat> that marinade's so good, it's a game changer. Now, you can make your own. I would buy that, call it a day. This is one of my favorite wings of all time. They're smoky, they're sweet, they're sticky. Um, they've got great char on them. These are a win, and they were so stinking easy. Um, told you guys we got other wing recipes uh, on our channel and on meatchurch.com, but this one's a winner. As always, the recipe is down in the description. Please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing. We're pumping out weekly how-to cooking videos for you guys. I'll see you all next time.